8 Archaeological Findings That Show Modern Science Is Just A Product Of Prehistoric People We always think that many high technology and scientific inventions were the achievements of modern people. However, a lot of archaeological findings have shown that in ancient times, there were inventions similar to today's such as telescopes, airplanes, spacecraft, computers, and even nuclear reactors. Some were extremely sophisticated, surpassing our current level. This is unbelievable! Whether modern science is just a copied product of prehistoric people, let's learn about 8 special archaeological findings today! Number 1. Telescope appeared 65 million years ago Housed in a small private museum created by Peruvian physician Dr. Javier Cabrera in 1966, more than 10,000 stones of various sizes were carved with intriguing images of a lost civilization. When we lift them up, they are much heavier than normal stones. The stones are composed of andesite with a granite semi-crystalline matrix. It is a hard stone that is difficult to carve, but the images are scratched through the oxidized surfaces. Some of the designs appear to be in the styles which can be recognized as belonging to the Paracas, Nazca, Tiwanaku, or Inca cultures, while others are in a style never seen before. The subject matter includes images of flowers, fish, or living animals, including the mythological type beasts or monsters. The stones that have drawn the most attention are those that depict different species of dinosaurs, as well as those that show advanced technology, such as telescopes and flying machines, and medical practices that were unknown at the time they were found, such as a cesarean section with acupuncture used as a form of anesthesia and heart transplants. Based on these carvings, the petroglyph's relative age is estimated, and the result is startling about 65 million years ago. According to scientists, Galileo was the first to invent the telescope in 1609, but the petroglyph showed that it appeared much longer ago. Number 2. 1.8 Billion Years Old Nuclear Reactor The African Republic of Gabon is considered a rich source of uranium ore 42 years ago. A French company imported uranium ore from Oklo, Gabon. They found that the ore had been refined. It contained 0.3 uranium-235, while uranium ore in nature should contain 0.7 uranium-235. So where did the other 0.4% go? At the site of that uranium ore, researchers found it to be an extremely advanced underground nuclear reactor, which went beyond our current scientific level. The mine's nuclear reactor is several kilometers long, and its thermal impact on the environment is limited with a radius of about 40 meters. After investigation, scientists concluded that this nuclear reactor is 1.8 billion years old, and it has been operating for about half a million years. Scientists were amazed by this discovery. French scientist Perrin concluded that the uranium sample from the Oklo mine have the same radioisotope levels as the spent nuclear fuel in current nuclear power plants. The findings were presented at a conference of the International Atomic Energy Agency. Number 3. Ancient Helicopters The Temple of Seti I is located in Abydos, 450 kilometers southeast of Giza, Egypt. Featured the most interesting and mysterious hieroglyphics, these were carved on a large stone that supports the ceiling of the temple. These hieroglyphics depict modern aircraft such as helicopters, tanks, flying saucers, and gliders. It's hard to imagine why these drawings look so much like modern helicopters. Did ancient people ever see airplanes? And they built these machines themselves? Not only Egypt. On the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, Colombia also has similar hieroglyphics. On the Peruvian plateau, there were also remnants of the runway for ancient planes to take off and land. Number 4. Ancient Spaceship Archaeologists have unearthed countless artifacts depicting spaceships 
and astronauts around the world, leading many people to believe in the existence of ancient advanced civilizations. Zechariah Sitchin, a leading author and researcher of astroarchaeology, has traveled around the world many times in search of supernatural specimens. He discovered a strange stone in the Turkish Archaeology Museum, depicting a high-tech personal capsule. It had many features of a modern spaceship, a jet engine exhaust pipe behind the tail, and a cockpit with a pilot sitting at the control wheel and wearing a spacesuit. Palenque is one of the Mayan cities found in the primeval forest of Chiapas, Mexico. In the tomb of Kenich Hanab Pakal, ruler of the city, a bronze relief was found on the lid of his coffin. The relief depicted a man lying or sitting on a strange object. Eric von Doniken, an archaeologist specializing in prehistoric civilizations, thought that this was a flying object, like a space shuttle. Another story happened in June 2011. The Swedish undersea treasure hunt team Ocean X discovered the wreck of a ship at a depth of 90 meters on the bottom of the Baltic Sea, northern Europe. It is a giant circular object, 60 meters wide and 8 meters high. This object resembles a modern spacecraft, but dated back to 14,000 years ago. When divers collected the specimens, geologist Steve Wiener stated that it was made of metals not found in nature. Number 5. Antikythera Machine The Antikythera is a metal device, consisting of at least 30 gears and complex components. The inscriptions on this machine are instructions for use. By studying the number of gears, along with the numbers on the instructions and astronomical cycle, the researchers confirmed that the machine was able to predict the rule in astronomy. This device has two sides. One side has a wheel that represents 365 days and 12 zodiac signs. By turning the hand wheel to the right, the user can move the wheel to a certain date to see the exact positions of the moon and sun and the moon's cycle on that day. Professor Peter Lynch of University College Dublin writes, more impressive is its ability to predict solar and lunar eclipses. It takes complex mathematical and technological calculations to integrate this cycle to a machine. The Antikythera machine is the best illustration of how the ancient Greeks use complex tools to precisely cut gears, like modern technology does today. They believe that nature operates according to a law, like a machine, and this idea later became the basis of modern science. Number 6. The 300 Million Year Old Screw In the 1990s, a Russian research team discovered a stone in a moorland in southwest Kaluzka province. This stone is nothing special if it does not hide a shocking mystery. The stone block contains a screw that, according to measurements, is up to 300 to 320 million years old. Many people believe that this screw is the product of a prehistoric civilization, which mastered a certain level of technology. This civilization at some point fell into destruction by volcanoes, tsunamis, and epidemics. After a hundred million years, almost everything was weathered or destroyed. But there were a few objects that, in a certain condition, remained, such as that screw. Number 7. The Power Jack in the Ancient Stone Block In 1998, while climbing a mountain, electrical engineer John J. Williams found an object that looked like a power jack in a remote area, far from human settlements, industrial zones, airports, power plants or nuclear plants. After digging deep into the ground, Williams discovered that the object was a device with three plugs firmly attached to a rock. Based on analysis, this was an electrical device attached to hard granite, which was made of quartz, feldspar, and a small amount of mica. The device is approximately 8 millimeters in diameter. The plugs are about 3 millimeters long, and the distance between the plugs is 2.5 millimeters, while the diameter of the plugs is about 1 millimeter. Mr. Williams requested an engineer and geologist to examine the object, and they concluded that the electrical equipment showed no signs of being glued or soldered. That means that the object has existed since at least the time the rock was formed, or earlier. According to the results of geological analysis, this stone is at least 100,000 years old. 
How can people at that time create such a thing? Number 8. Ancient Temples in India Was Made by Modern Machines In the Temple of Hoysalaswara, India, there are pillars with intricate grooves. If you look at these pillars, they were obviously constructed by machines. Archaeologists agreed that the tool to build these pillars was lathes, but couldn't explain how people 900 years ago could do that. Besides, in the temple are sculptures depicting modern gears and reducers in the hands of a deity named Masana Bhairava. There is a planetary gear. The outer has 32 teeth, and the inner has a half of that. This is exactly the constitution of modern reducers. Especially, there is a lock running around this structure and locked in the center. Today, we also use the same kind of technology. It's called a circlip lock or snap ring to fix the parts in place. How could the people of that time invent such a mechanism? Was advanced machine technology used 900 years ago? It seems that modern science is not a pioneer, but a product of prehistoric people. What do you think about this topic? Leave your comment below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and we'll see you next time.